Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, sup, my name's Chelsea. I create content on YouTube. This is what happens when I try to make a new intro. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just go back to basics. Hello, how are ya? My name is Chelsea. If you are new here, if you are not new, sup, I love you. You're my jam. I'm your jam. Okay. If you are new, subscribe, comment, like, and please do leave in the comments below, you know, that you're new and introduce yourself. I love that. It literally makes my day. And I would love to know a little bit about you. I need to rant. I need to go off. I need to talk about how Beachbody coaches are using infertility and miscarriages and those type of deep subjects to try to manipulate you into joining their pyramid scheme. I'm usually not this like during videos, but I don't even know what that sound just was, but I'm, you can always tell when I'm extra like, ugh with my nails and like talk with my hands a lot that I'm your girl's mad. I went off on my Instagram, so we're just getting right into it. <laughs> I went off on my Instagram stories uh, about two weeks ago about how Beachbody coaches um, over the past like four or five years have been messaging me. I get maybe not like that many, but it's more than anyone should get. I probably get, you know, 10 to 15 a year. These messages saying like something normal, something normal. And then, oh, I, I saw this video or you tweeted about this or you said this on someone's comment or something, 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 whatever about infertility or about miscarriages or about chemical pregnancies. And you're so open about it. I love it so much and blah, blah, blah. Now, a little background, my husband, Tony and I, He's the best. We've been together for 10 years. We've been married for almost five years, five years in October. He's 30, just turned 30 in May. I will be 30 in March. We aren't actually trying to get pregnant. We're just practicing as we both jokingly say. Now, after my brother and my sister-in-law's wedding at the end of next year, then sure, we'll try, but we're not actually trying right now. It's really annoying for someone to come into my DMs and say, oh, you're so open about miscarriages and chemical pregnancies and things like that, and then try to sell you something to help you get pregnant. When I've said multiple times we're not trying to get pregnant, it's very strange to me and I don't like it. Yes, I am very open about miscarriages and chemical pregnancies and things like that. I think you should be. And the reason why I think that we should all be open about that, you don't have to. Obviously, don't put your business out there if you don't feel like it. People react to things in different ways. However, I didn't know that miscarriages and chemical pregnancies and all that were so common, but they are. And I felt so broken. And I don't think you should feel that way. I mean, you can obviously grieve in whatever way you need to. I, even though we're not trying, I still am sad when it happens. It's normal. My mom had five miscarriages and I always thought that was crazy. But after hearing and learning that almost everyone I know has had a miscarriage, then well, everyone who's married or trying or not trying, whatever, like that it's more normal than you think, right? So having said all of that, now that you have a little bit of a background, I went off on my Instagram stories, like I said, and was just talking about, you know, I receive these messages and it's really annoying and people trying to sell me their beach body program or get me to join something because people on their team or people they know couldn't get pregnant and now they are because of these shapes, which that's illegal. That's literally illegal to make those type of claims. And it just really pisses me off. And it's so wrong to manipulate people on that type of deep level. I can't. It makes me so mad. Ah. I received this message. And yes, I'm going to block out their name. I'm going to block out their picture. So I don't, I don't believe in that. Be nice to each other. For the love of God, please be nice. I'm going to put it up here as well so y'all can see it. But this person started out and messaged me. And again, this was literally today. And I had the time. So I just went along with it. So they start out... I'll put it up here. They say, Hey babe, I saw your comment on Laura Beverly's post a while back about infertility. And can I just say, I love that you're so open about it. I said, thanks. It's important to break down the stigma, blah, blah, blah. Well, basically everything we just talked about, right? And then the person says, have you done any testing or anything, you know, to help change that? And that's actually kind of when I was like, that's a weird thing to ask. Okay. So that's why I specifically said we aren't trying. So nope, we're not trying. So when we actually start, if we have problems slash no luck six months in, then we'll start testing, etc. That's my plan with my doctor. Now I specifically said that's my plan with my doctor because most people would be like, all right, I'm going to back off. Like that's her plan with her doctor. They didn't back off. And then I jokingly said, the corny ass joke I always say of, we're just practicing right now. Then she got real aggressive <laughs> in all caps and said, LOL, you're too funny. I really wanted to be like, that wasn't that funny. It's, it's always bad when like someone's like, oh my God, you're so funny. And you're like, I'm not that funny. Like I am, I am pretty humorous, but like that, that joke wasn't that funny. 
Are you okay? So then she says, so many girls I work with had a hard time getting pregnant and now all of them are pregnant. My next response was more of just like a kind of deflection thing. You, like, you can kind of tell I'm just kind of dismissing it. So I said, weird. Yeah, seems like everyone I know is getting pregnant during quarantine. But like I said, reiterating what I said, we aren't actually trying. Plus with my medical history slash issues, I just want to be as healthy as I can be before we start trying. So that's really what I'm focusing on. You would think since I said because of my medical history and health issues, which realistically I wasn't bullshitting. My, almost everyone in my family has had cancer or whatever, but I have fibrocystic breast disease. I have other health issues as well. Um, Tony doesn't really have any, but I do have quite a few. So I need to be as healthy as I can. And I don't think I'll have a high risk pregnancy. I think it'll be okay, hopefully. But so at this point, someone normal and with a soul, would be like okay like clearly like she has like you know health issues like it's like i shouldn't i shouldn't try to picture anything like that'd be wrong nope so here comes the what are your fitness goals like what are they like what are you trying to achieve what's your fitness journey what journey are you on what now my response which i'm going to share this on the anti-mlm <laughs> reddit group as well i love y'all because I feel like they will appreciate this, honestly. Um, and I said, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm not interested in buying, oh, oops, I probably sounded illiterate. <laughs> I'm just not realizing I made a typo because I was so heated. But it's fine. I was heated, understandably. So I said, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm not interested in buying shakes or joining a team. Thank you, though. And her response was, I was just making conversation and being nice. Were you, though? And my response so you aren't a beach body coach coach and you are asking me what my goals are so that i would join your accountability team her response i do run my own health and wellness business hot twist no you don't you don't run your own health and wellness business bill you're not your own boss hashtag boss babe hashtag this is a pyramid scheme <laughs> in my response via beach body that 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 and now she said yes sorry for trying to help you Apology not accepted. <laughs> now, it might just be because I'm an asshole, but and because I've dealt with this so much and because I am like a part of this community of you should not be able to treat people like this and also get out of my uterus. Like I get so, so annoyed and so like it, it I'm not going to say it's not a touchy subject for me because it is because I hate when people are like, you should try this and this and this. When I've just told you that I'm not actually trying, when I am trying, and when I actually ask you for your opinion and your suggestions, then okay, give me your suggestions. But I did not ask you. I do not need your suggestions. I don't want health and wellness tips from you. I look way better than you. And do I have a very high probability of getting breast or ovarian cancer? I sure as fuck do, according to the test results from my breath test. However, I'm sure as fuck not gonna take health and wellness advice from this bitch. I need to calm down. <laughs> I don't think anyone on my channel's ever seen me like this, so sorry, but also not fucking sorry, because this is horrible. So, I said, how dare you try to use my uterus as a pain point, which is a sales term, to have me join a pyramid scheme, your pyramid scheme. You should be ashamed of yourself. You put so much time into looking through comments on an infertility hashtag. Hashtag isn't really a like a word, but I'm making it a word. Infertility hashtag post to cold message people. You realize you could just work a normal sales job and make way more money and spend no money. I was trying to help you. Clearly, you don't want my help. I've helped so many other women. I don't want to work for anyone else. I am my own boss. Sorry for trying to help you. Just a few things. You were not trying to help me. You were trying to help you. You're right. I don't want your help. I want my gynecologist's help when the time comes. That time has not come. You've not helped other women. You haven't at all. They were probably in the same boat as I was, and they just weren't tracking shit right. I don't know. Just shut up. You don't want to work for anyone else. Honey, I don't know how to tell you. You work for, you work for someone. You work for someone. You work for your upline. You are not your own boss. You don't own the business. Again, sorry for trying to help you. Again, you weren't trying to help me. 
I was just a enrollment fee to you or a starter kit fee to you. A starter kit commission rather. No, that was basically my response, but I said, you were trying to help yourself, not me. Get out of my uterus. <laughs> That's like my favorite response when anyone has anything to say about me trying to get pregnant or anything like that. It's like, get out. You don't get to have a say in what I do or how I'm doing it. And also I'm not doing it. Leave me alone. <laughs> get out of my uterus and get out of my DMs. I was really proud of that. I looked at your profile and you're not someone that I should be taking health and wellness advice from. Get out while you can. Goodbye. Now, I know that's kind of kind of rude to say, I looked at your profile, I looked at your pictures, you're not someone I should be taking health and wellness advice from, but it's very true. So this girl is very overweight. And listen, I'm all about body positivity. I am all about being very confident in yourself. I'm all about that. However, when it comes to health and wellness, that's a different story. So mental wellness, again, different story. We were talking about physical. This is primarily what she did. Not even primarily, exactly what she was talking about when she was trying to poach me. It had nothing to do with the mental, nothing to do with emotional. It was all about physical health, inner, inner shit. Because I specifically said, I'm trying to be as healthy as I can and in the best shape I can. I'm in better shape than this girl is. I am going to be honest. I work out, what, once a week? Not even. I do squats while I brush my teeth and random squats while I'm working. And I walk around my house and I run around with the white gum. That's all I do. And I'm on top sometimes. Like, I don't do anything else. I don't drink random shakes. I drink wine. I drink green tea. I don't eat noodles. And I sure as fuck don't eat bread because I'm not trying to boot my pants. But it just really pisses me off when these people reach out to you and they're like, oh, I can help you, blah, blah, blah. Can you? Because it seems like you can't even help yourself. So I'm not trying to be that bitch. I know I sound really rude right now, but it's just so predatory and I hate it so much. Like, how dare you come into anyone's DMs and say, just comment anything about their body and then get mad at me when I say, how dare you? And look at you when I come back at you. And yet then I'm the mean one. This was unprovoked. I did not like anything at all. And now what they're doing, it's not even like, oh, you liked my post or oh, you followed me. It's, oh, you viewed my story. Now, because I'm doing anti-MLM content, I am viewing a lot of these stories. So I have even more of these people messaging me now, which just shows one, it's hilarious. Two, they aren't actually looking at the content of the person because if they looked at the content, they would see that like, I don't like this shit. If you are a Beachbody coach, for the love of God, please do not cold message people about infertility. Please do not use actual health anything to try to further your pitch. Now, if someone reaches out to you and is like, what are you doing? You're interested in actual fitness and working out and shit like that? Okay. That's different. That's completely different. But mm -mm. like, it makes me want to, it makes me want to strangle someone. I hate it so much. It's so like, not to quote friends, but it's so past the line that like you look back and the line is a little dot to you. Like it's so over the line. I can't handle it. I hate it so much. I do feel better though after ranting. If you have received any craziness like this, feel free to send it to me. I would love to talk to you about it. Feel free to DM me about it. Um, if you have had a miscarriage, a chemical pregnancy, if you have had any issues like that, then feel free to talk to me about it. I'm an open book. I would love to talk to you about it. You are not alone. And I'm not going to tell you how to feel, but it definitely helped me feel less broken <laughs> when um, I realized that it was pretty common, like literally very common. So yeah, you're not alone. Don't let these unqualified, uneducated, disgusting excuses for humans, i.e. MLM bitches, make you feel weird, inadequate, like there's something wrong with you, like you need to join their accountability group. They just see you as a price tag. Don't do that. So shoot, if you want to talk to me about health and wellness, sure. I'm not qualified, but I'll talk to you about it and I won't make a penny off of it. I mean, I might send you an affiliate link. So I hope you enjoyed this very ranty rant and and again, you are enough. Don't let these hoes manipulate you. Know the signs, know the red flags. You're better than that, okay? You are better than that. Don't fall for their shit. Stay humble. Let these bitches know. Subscribe, like, and comment. And I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.